Alright, so Redmi K20 Pro, Mi 90 Pro, another day, another complete review for a custom ROM and this time yet again we are talking about Aero OS. I think every month we have at least one review for Aero OS and it, this ROM deserves that. Especially today's review is going to be really really great because we've got very good insights about this particular ROM. We have the gaming, uh, you know, recordings as well so that you will see towards the end of the video this is a one of the kind android 12 based universal rom which you can definitely go ahead and flash and give it a try but why is that the case watch the complete video to know that and before we get into the details if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video and it doesn't cost you anything it also motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, we'll join us on Telegram. We have more than 1400 people over there. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Let's see what we have in the latest OS of Aero OS 12 based on Android 12 updated on the 1st of December 2021. Now the source changelog is going to be really really huge so we're not going to talk about that. You can go ahead and read it if you wish. As far as the downloads are concerned, the vanilla version is 1 gigabyte and the GApps version is 1.38 gigabytes. If you talk about the device changelog over here, let's quickly... Okay. So these are the changes they directly take you to GIT Hub or GitHub, whatever you want to call it. And you do have the support change log or support chat over there. Now the note section says always make an Android backup, be safe, ROM uses OSS vendor and custom Aero OS CAF kernel, that is good. Request latest MIUI Android 11 firmware, suggested recoveries, Aero OS AOSP TWRP. These are the details they have mentioned about this particular ROM. Now yet again a big thanks to Stark Edits because he reviewed this ROM for me and after that I go ahead and installed it and I you know tested it for you guys. So towards the end of the video we will share his feedback as well. But for now the moment you boot into this ROM. Now remember this is Aero OS 12 based on Android 12. So if you actually go to settings in about phone you will see that you have things looking a little different. The Monet UI is much more subtle and fluid and it works almost in the entire user interface. This is Aero OS version official Android 12 for Rafael as you can see and it, this is a Rafael in. Basically I'm from India and this is an Indian K20 Pro. Android security update is the 5th of November and the kernel as I mentioned is the Aero calf kernel right now the app icon animations on this are pretty decent they are not the best trust me when you talk about the best android uh, app icon animations it will go to probably pixel experience plus official android 11 based or dot uh, os android 11 based because those are beautiful animations this right here is fine it is smooth it, it is subtle these animations are not the best to the left of course you have google feed which works absolutely fine, no problem whatsoever. This is actually smoother than some of the, you know, stock-based MIUI ROMs for the Poco X3 Pro. It's really surprising, but yeah, it's there. It works absolutely fine. When you swipe from the top to bottom, you have this edit menu, you have the power menu, and then you have the settings shortcut, which works absolutely fine, no problem whatsoever. And you do have these quick tiles in which you have a built-in screen recorder, which allows you to record internal and external audio. So let's click on start over here. Okay, now, as you can see, even after enabling the screen recorder, there are no stutters, no jitters whatsoever. It is working absolutely fine, no problems at all. So let's go ahead and quickly stop the screen recorder here. There you go, it's processing. Bam, it is processed. Let's see the quality and audio of the recording. Okay, I'll tell you one thing. Remember in the last two videos, I mentioned that uh, there is some bug with Android 12 screen recorder for the Poco X3 Pro and the K20 Pro, wherein the audio first is glitchy and then it comes back to normal. That thing is not present over here. So that is neat and we were in quick tiles, right? So moving on, if you edit the quick tiles, you do get some customization like extra dim. You do have the ambient display tile, you have caffeine, you have sync, sound, heads up. You can go ahead and use those even if you don't have a gaming board. And as far as the fingerprint scanner is concerned, right? Let's quickly go ahead and enable the screen. The fingerprint scanner works fine. Let's go to the lowest possible brightness. 
there you go even when the phone has been idle for a long time or even if the brightness is low the fingerprint scanner is working absolutely fine so that's a big plus the UD FPS implementation on Android 12 is really really helping a lot and it's working great on custom ROMs now so moving on apart from these options like as you can see let's quickly go ahead and add maybe ambient display let's drag this here and drop it somewhere here and let's see ambient display where did it go there you go so the screen sort of lights up but the thing that is missing over here is the android 12 animation right so you will notice the screen just lights up it doesn't have those beautiful grainy android 12 uh, animations on the lock screen which is fine i'm pretty sure they can add that later and even if you exit the app the animations are there and they're working absolutely fine if you press and hold on the home screen you do have home settings which gives you access to a very very basic launcher you do have your android 12 widgets which are working absolutely fine and then you have your customization haven in which you have themed icons and you don't really have a lot of wallpapers so uh yeah i don't really have a lot of screenshots there as well but yes monitor is working great it's doing a fine job no problems there the app does boot with very very few applications no bloatware whatsoever now if you go to settings for further details you have your standard android 12 stuff going on like network and internet connected devices apps notifications under battery you do have thermal profiles but you don't really have the 180 hertz touch sampling rate which is always a good thing so that is missing you do have the option to enable battery percentage and then you have storage sound display in display you have your standard options like always on display status bar items and all those things so you know those are basic things which we've covered a zillion times and it doesn't make any sense to go ahead and cover them again and again under system of course you do have the front camera settings which is missing the calibration option and you do have gestures as you can see there are quite a lot of gestures including tap to sleep, enable, advance, restart. If you talk about the recent menu, the memory management on this particular ROM is pretty decent. The apps do stay in memory. You do have screenshot and clear all at the bottom and you do have the option of split screen which works absolutely fine. So as far as the daily driver is concerned, Aero OS 12 is doing a splendid job. No problems whatsoever over here. And let's quickly go ahead and also note the feedback of Stark Edits, who is my lead tester. Now, the files that we flashed is Android 11 firmware, Aero S Vanilla ROM, Flame G App Scannery Basic, and Android 12 F2FS DFE. Remember, this is an OSS based ROM, so you can use this on OSS vendor and F2FS file system. Now, the flashing time is about 1 minute and 42 seconds. That's really, really neat. First boot takes about 40 seconds. That's, that's fast. And initial impressions are similar to mine ui is very very clean and smooth now the pros he mentions is rom is smooth finger fingerprint speed is good awesome gaming performance good benchmark scores couldn't find any bug light heating due to android 11 firmware and no customization now let's quickly go ahead and have a look at his gaming clip and you will understand how good or bad the gaming experience is
All right, so that's the gaming experience that he had with this particular ROM. Pretty splendid stuff, I would say, right? It works absolutely fine as far as gaming is concerned. Now let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the CPU throttle test over here. All right, so as far as the CPU throttle test is concerned, average score was 186, 256 GIPS. So brilliant scores there, 95% throttling. So that's excellent. And as far as Geekbench is concerned, 742 single core, 2520 multi core. So again, a great job there. And if you talk about any other benchmarks, well, we do have Antutu benchmark over here. So let's go ahead and quickly check Antutu. 534,564. So the benchmark numbers are great. Even if you talk about daily usage, you know, things like safety net will matter to you, right? So you do see safety net is passing out of the box and even the Google Play Store certification is present. If you go to DRM Info, your Widevine L1 certification is present as well. And the battery backup and charging speeds are pretty insane as well. So all in all, Aero OS 12, the latest version is a brilliant all-rounder. You can definitely use it as a daily driver. There might be some things which you might not like. Let me know in the comment section what are those things. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.